My name is Randy Brown. The day of, my two children were at risk. We were lucky both of them lived. My kids were Brooks and Aaron. They were in the school. Well, Brooks was outside, Aaron was inside. Columbine affected uh, me in different ways than it affected our family. I have always felt uh, partly responsible for it happening. So I've had to live with that guilt. Um, but it affected our family in many ways. My oldest son, Brooks, was traumatized by it, mainly because people thought and said he was involved, including the sheriff and other representatives of the sheriff's department. This is 985504, the incident report that we filed in 1998. He and I had turned Eric into the police a year earlier and two years earlier for having pipe bombs and weapons and detonating pipe bombs. That kind of started the rumors that they thought Brooks was involved, which was ridiculous. When my son attended Columbine High School, uh, Dylan Klebold had been a family friend and their family had been friends for years. And Eric, I think my wife suspected something was wrong with Eric and he was dangerous to begin with. On the day of Columbine, Brooks called and said, uh, Dad, there's, there's been a shooting at the school. Brooks smoked in high school. He would always go out. You had to go off-site to smoke. On April 20th, he left the school to go have a cigarette, and he saw Eric drive in in Eric's car. And Eric said, Brooks, go away. I like you now. Uh, which is, Brooks had no idea what that meant or at the time. Uh, there were no weapons visible. Brooks didn't, you know, there were no pipe bombs visible. Eric was getting out of his car, and... Uh, uh, so Brooks went, okay, fine. Brooks is down on Pierce and heard what he thought was, and this is so funny because he said, I thought it was construction. And then Brooks heard some more of that, and then he finally heard an explosion, and he said, well, something's going on. So he ran through the neighborhood warning people, stopping cars with a teacher in it, telling them, I think Eric's shooting up the school. I think there's a shooting at the school. Hated is almost not even the word. Every, everyone around here thought Brooks was involved. We went to a, a, pl a play or a talent show at the school and no one would sit around us. The theater was full. There were people standing in the aisles and no one would sit three seats either side of us because, you know, we were the Browns and we were liars and we were accused of being media whores. And uh, it was ridiculous. Uh, we, we, in the beginning, we were just trying to help the police say, what happened? We turned this kid in and... And the pain of Columbine, it's there every day and it doesn't go. We're sorry, we're upset that we didn't do more to let people know what happened here, but the cover-up made it difficult. Uh, and we live with the guilt of knowing that maybe we could have done more, although we spent seven years fighting it after Columbine, um, yelling at the Attorney General in meetings, um, all, all kinds of things we tried to do. Spent seven years on our life on it. It didn't help. You know what's happened, though, what's been learned since Columbine? Nothing. The same things happened at Parkland. Pitiful failures um, that, that happened at Columbine. So no one's learned a thing. Every time there's a school shooting, uh, we think about it and we know our involvement and we know and we're sorry that we couldn't have done more and... Uh, you know, sorry that it wasn't effective, what we did in the beginning. And sorry still that no one, no one, they're doing nothing to stop school shootings now. The methods they're using aren't working. Isn't it obvious to everybody? They're not working. You need to take away the reason these kids in these schools are so angry that they want to kill people. And you say you take away the bullying. You make sure they're treated fairly. People lost children here. And they were killed for no reason at all. It could have been stopped. And so any day that my wife and I would get upset, we would realize that our sons are alive and how lucky we are.